So my name is Ali Ambu. I'm Sam. And uh, we're going to be talking about something that we call data place. And uh, for those that are uh, in storage, if you have an open OEP, and then you might be thinking why you're talking about it. For those that are not in storage, and you see some of the things that we're doing constantly on, on you know, different systems, file systems, and in drivers, you might think that we're in we trying to solve the same issue for about 10 years, and we don't seem to have why it's important on so I think this is totally important for Dan to buy a new life for the community. What is the different approach is that we the Linux kernel with the API and what are the reasons for some of these approaches and hopefully we find some alignment and then I think we are in the microconference on some devices on this afternoon. We are going to talk about not only some devices, but also a little bit about uh, some of the other technology that might have some. Why is data placement is important? And in the beginning, when we had both devices, everything worked. Everything was easy. Everybody continued to use random, you could perfect, and things were pretty good. Especially since we introduced non based storage devices, this has not been true for a We maintain the work device in the second of the device, we need to do this task to maintain that. And I, you know, I don't want to go into the details because it's pretty well known today, but the, the problem is that. Right granularity you can right? and the erase granularity of the NAND has different granularity of the NAND you cannot rewrite. You need to rewrite, you need to rewrite, and then you need to rewrite. And this is a private collection. And the private collection tool is something that we call the NAND. And I'm, I'm going to get into the next slide because there's a lot of confusion. Different people understand what we do differently. And I'm going to try to line. On what it means. But the point is that, especially in the past, like 10 to 18 years, uh, probably since we have been and I have been very pushing up within a NAN on PKI, we've been trying to make I and the I side work a little bit better. So, those who supposed to know what it means. System or, or uh, you know, anything can say, hey, so we have to put the things together. So we do not, do not move it. We have a certain process because I know I'm going to invalidate the process at some point and then I'm going to start some work for you. And we have been doing a project in one way, and we put it all in the 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 way. I hope it's clear. Uh, you know, please interrupt me at any time if you have questions. Um, the result of all this is that we have like, a lot of different uh, competing uh, technologies in different standards, but in Windows, we care about uh, a that we think about what we need on, but you know, we need to be trusted, we need to be made to be and with the results and everything. So that has been a little fun idea. Um, so, this is a little bit of the history of a very high. I'm, I'm missing a, a few things like, you know, something with the value of the bit. I don't know about some of the things that were like things in the beginning. But these are kind of the technologies that have somehow had an impact on the industry. So, you know, both devices were interconnected in their work in their free source. These are not chronologically together, they are in from less communication to also more. Communication to So I'm going to start with the uh, and on the other panel. So when we call this step for very much inspired by this and I uh, at that time NAND was simpler. It was uh, something called MSC, and it was and then most NAND 
Mirror, so the Samsung Wars, we put control the post note, the actually actually the now, you know, channel, by and then the user manage one of the big parts that we have on SSS, which is the bandwidth. When you have an SSD, you basically have a single cycle. And then you use try to the runway, but then you have to listen on each one. So you do a try on the right, and this comes in what's going on. Manage to bring up by using it. Then enough information to maybe do it right on a part, but you do it on a different part. NAN has to be more complex. Samsung was not. The internet report, at least from my general industry, I never in NVMe. We had a system in Linux called NVM, who was and then got really. You might find a resistance of it in some Chinese data centers. And doing something similar uh, to this, but uh, from a little perspective, I think we don't care about that anymore. Mm -hmm. On top of open standards, and you know, some standard network of the we have some, uh, you know, from NAM perspective, we really use what the network has been making and something that on the phone device, and you know, make uh, smart hard drives. That were made on hard drive have not on on SSDs, and you know, as I, I am a into that, but I also heard in the has not and that what we were talking to. So we get something that we call the next part on the on MVP. And on something that we had working on in the past, almost at the same time on uh, an open panel that got streams. And I'm, I'm making the streams and then be like, okay, good, we move on. The streams were the opposite of open panel. You have a lot of eyes, you will put the right interface that was compatible with the block device interface. But you can send hints to you can put the right you know, put the stream ID. And then the device on how it's also worth working both in that, but it's not the So, you know, a few customers adopted that at least at the time, and there's not that, that much focus on making Linux. And as we all know, when you have a general customer, things meant, and that meant. So, with this possible problem, we're trying to find kind of a middle ground between what we Frames and what is the main There's a hint based interface. It is that way compatible, but it adds a little bit more control on SWNS and on Anonymous Mark. Trying to control the 
what makes them important to the regard again are just a bit of value to make and we discuss what's the money to command that will be I don't want to use brand but taking into strong advice so that we have some of the problems. I believe today the technology are relevant for the language community are some developers and an you know, the, the conversation is going to be around the uh, but the uh, questions are about any value uh, in your perspective to, to bring that up. So, I want to talk about this is something that uh, even for people that understand the story, it's confusing because the simplification, at least for me, I think it's approximate. It's a method that can use to talk about many different things. So, some people talk about random amplification as the uh, um, lifetime of the drive, you know, because you're aware of the, the, uh, the drive and then you're not going to be able to grant it. So, I think everybody has a proxy method how much garbage collection the device is applying, uh, how much they are moving, and then start it. So, that's basically what we're looking at is when I write one terabyte to the device, how much uh, it can actually fit into the media. Can be one computer, it can be three terabytes before you can have very good time. Some people look at this from a latency perspective. I personally like that because when they look at latency, it's a combination of all these bigger things, you know, internal work on the SSD. I mean, you can be able to about how you do things, but if you move a lot in your garbage collection, you're at the end of the day and you're useless. That's something that affects the user and the user. I put an emphasis on this because you know, we need to get the guarantee. So, if we can do one device right for a year, we normally have to stop it. But in terms of latency, you know, we have maybe more control than how we use the device. So, this graph here is going to show you some of the real use cases when people wake up at the from a higher perspective. I mean about gratification, this is a little bit of the explanation I myself have on that I'm communicating with customers. So here you have, imagine that from, this is really from one hyperscape. So people say, I can only target a certain number of ways, and I can pinpoint we have a how much they want to do the interface, how much they want to do the hand. And we can correlate the latency they want to the right amplification that the device is providing. So that, that correlation gives you a data point when they say, I need to produce on my device by 8% so I can meet my latency at this amplification point. In this particular example, in the AI, at least as an extreme example, but it's a real one. So some people say we can only tolerate 1.3 grad amplification for this particular workload. That means that I need to use only half of the device. Why as it means? Because if you're using less of the device, then the the firmware class translation layer has more space to do their own work. So you cannot put it as much together, and then the latency is okay. And then these people say, how can we improve right amplification so that I can, so that I can only use the of the device, I can use some of the other devices. So this is the question. So it's not, a, you know, I want to emphasize, it's not about the retention, you know, how, how many users are going to the last, you know, we have, you have the quantity for it. It's about how you're using the device in your particular use case and what right amplification you can talk because it's, it's a proxy of the thing that you can do. In this particular case, for one This is a comparison of the, uh, actually, uh, you can see um, the on point set on, on own device, but as on the anti amplification of one. And then you have an example of the OTP, which you mentioned, where the customer, well, I want to use 
you know, if, if I use this analogy, how much more drive I can give until I hit that rock and roll button. And in this case, it was a different design. <coughs> it's actually going to be even more of your guys in using it. If you use another technology, maybe you get more. But it's all about, you know, at the end of the day, what you do with your body, what your engineering effort versus the benefits of the end. So that you, you know, what kind of middle. I hope that is good. Do you have any questions on this? So, with this in mind, and in these two technologies, you know, from, from the outside, it might look like these two technologies are competing. You know, you, you have the two things that same thing, and I think it really is not. I've seen that there are two technologies that target two different uses, even though sometimes they have a on the same product in a in, in in And I think we can separate them on three uh, categories. You know, what's the right you know, on the application that we want to use? What are the application guarantees that we want to add in place? And then also, what is the quality of the use case that we're going to put on? So, when people look at the own stuff, uh, typically they look at applications that are uh, very much sequential. This is probably a pinpoint because, you know, Many applications belong to this potential, but they might go to like most so. But it is quite a small percentage that will be left with your with the hard drive. Right? Um, in 2015, for example, our hard drive will be a thing of standard in uh, random zones, so that if you want to put parts of your memory on the drive, you can do that. Um, and in GME, we, we did not do that. So that creates a problem because you either have a fully sequential workload or you don't need a separate request for your metadata that that's created from the failure domain issue. You know, if you lose your metadata and then you lose all your data, most people don't want to get into those questions. This also applies for people who know you can create two namespaces one that is a normal dog device namespace and the other one is a sound namespace. And the question is what the grade for that? You know, you have to put your own provisioning in your device and you know, this is 1%, this is 1%, how you can use it. It's a very complex question when people are fighting for one, two percent of the device, I mean, that you will run percent of your device for, for make up the sounds of operation, and people are not going to do that. Right? On the other hand, you have the right hints, but it is follows. Okay, you can have, if you have sequential workloads, it is already very good for GSSD, even though you use a bulk device, sequential workloads, we like them very much. We, you know, we have obviously the issues to, to stay with the sequential workload. Yes. So, you can leverage that, but it's not important. You have random write. Uh, remember, this is about placement. It's not about how you write, it's about the place. So, if you have like a private object, and then you have a sequential, from a personal perspective, it's the same as if you write something randomly. You need to have the same time. So in this case, things are maybe more difficult for people that cannot either cannot guarantee and they're too much of work loads, or people that don't really have random workloads. So you know, things are more difficult for people that don't have a code for that, and you don't know what's going on, and you need to have a From the right amplification guarantee perspective, obviously some devices are very rushed because <coughs> the garbage collection it's not happening on the device. So at the end of the day, the device is guaranteeing you a representation of one. They can be up to one If you do not have a fully sequential workload, or if you a application, you know, somehow it will kind of be possible for you at the same time, and we see what it means in case it's for the first time, the approach will trigger some garbage collection that probably would not have happened if you were not using CNS, and you need to wait for it to be possible. So, you know, the guarantee is one of the interfaces, but it's not guaranteed. And this, in our experience, has been an issue when people are using in reality and they get the end to end right amplification all the way from the customer's application. So it's not one. And they go, you know, what more stuff we're doing. And then we end up in this weird conversation where we're not responsible for the software. And even though you might have written parts of it in the notes, we don't give you a guarantee on the software. So, you know, that creates a very difficult conversation. That conversation simplifies uh, when you talk about right hints for people 
not have maybe a in the middle of the globe. Because again, I'm looking from the vendor perspective, if you are like a vendor at a different level, you're an OEM, you might have to be a bit But the other you know, the partner with the customer, they don't know. So, you know, it's a very booming, you know, both sides of the world. But I think it's more, it's more, um, uh, it's important than for customers. Because it's always about what's compatible. If you know what is the worst case is, what you find is extremely. But you have uh, an upper hand if you do uh, a good job. You do a good job, you get some of the benefits, and then you can measure. So, what is the point of security? If, you, uh, if you're designing an application or an application that you have to from the beginning, you might want, and I think that Slava has been doing some good job on, on that, right? You, you decide that from, 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 the, from the beginning, you can work around some of it and do it with police and things like that. But the, what you see is that a lot of people that want to do it, like, hey, do not have the capability at the time to work three years for a software to do it. They want to do a minimal amount of work. And this might be. In saying I really want to put my application, they might be put in the stack. So I'd rather have a device list. I want to have a file system because I don't really need to write my application, then not write my file system, then not write on, on my USB. So most people would have an, an open problem. And from a file system, I think you can do a lot of work, but I always, you know, I always have like, and I think that's what we can do later. How many, how many semantics are we able to, to send from the application to the file system for the file system to do uh, a good job of what we have on the output database? How, uh, how much can I tell the file system this file system belongs to the world? Or is this file system solution a couple of the other thing? I'm not entirely sure that we have a good answer for that. No problem with it, right? We need to be able to specify that we can Okay, data in some way and think of the three things like that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we have more time. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But thanks for the comment. Uh, so, go ahead. I would like to ask uh, I want to 
emphasize the difference between writing, you know, the fact that, in my opinion, the fact that you write sequentially is a consequence of the technology, not a benefit of the technology. You care about placing data in a way that you can validate at the same time so that you can save the device. Writing sequential is not the only consequence of having to do this, if that makes sense. So from a placement perspective, I know that we, we have sequential data, but from a pure perspective, the only thing we care about is that if I'm writing, I don't know, 100 megabytes of work for within the same range, I can invalidate them at the same time, that's what I want. I don't care what sequential to the device or in random to the device. I don't know the benefits, but, but I see that people that are on devices, especially on NAND, struggle of guaranteeing the potentiality, and it has been a burden more than a help. The fact that we can help, then we can help the development of the potentiality. I hope that, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not against the flexible It's not about a one effort of the other. I personally spend a fair amount of my life working on CNS and other people have. So You know, even when we talk about I, I think you can buy, you, you can buy today in the market because the technology has evolved enough that you can get it in, in, in client somehow. You can buy it at Amazon. But, um, you know, maybe we get there to the primarily enterprise. And, you know, people that claim you can buy the extent and the price system and then hold the first. I think that's going to work. I mean, the fact is doesn't know anything about it. This is about giving the applications in the games if you were either working on block or file or all pass through. I'm going to mention that later. But it's very targeted applications. For, you know, uh, we had some work on Castle. Castle is a very nice example of something that can be I'm fully running on, on other things. Okay, so I'll try to move ahead. Um, you know, so this this is basically what I you know what I mentioned before. At least how we the Python on the industry is that some storage is coming strong on smart hard drives. It's coming very strong on a users. And you might find you test when it is none. I mean, it means not getting this interaction. And the it's a very contained environment. It's Android. It's a single file system. It's a system that has many applications. It's so they use to have used in their for things for temperature to be able to look at this. And I think the BART and the uh, and the good job in that direction. On NVMe, I see more the same being ahead with the user. I mean, I'm very happy that some people do the other stuff, and we have used from the Linux perspective, and if you look at the past, like three years, basically what things are happening, but the hard thing is going wrong, and then we can talk more about it. Um, I don't want to spend, you know, I want to show you an example of the work that 
screen now on it but what happens if you want to have distinct statements as we had before but you have some guarantees in terms of it's going to be hard but it's hard it's going to be and then you have some more information in terms of you know how many now what the number of teams that have what the prices of the teams which one is phones is called with you know probably the arranging with the map up to you and then it's a impact in terms of I'm aligning to the to the unit. No, I'm based on that. You can do your application to make that. Let me kind of a big start on the you know today we do not have a big support for the and it's a high enough of playing that. So those that are not very familiar the match in the past and that's you know you can think of it as uh, as an avatar that is synchronous. So it's connected by a ring and it goes to the MVMe driver. So you can write a portrait of a MVMe driver and then you bypass the portrait to the MVMe. And as you know people my maybe a driver, I'm not very particular in this but if you think of it okay, taking the good part of it okay, that we have done is that we have in a the main speaker that we have deployed on the functions but using the internal MVP. We actually haven't done the work to connect to the to pass through so okay, we have an SP application you do not need to use a MVP driver, you can use pass through and then you would be in general infrastructure for now don't be the um the um pass yeah in terms of a implementation I mentioned it's not it's only outside but it's connected to the other command. And it's Constantly finding every time that there's suggestions for the block layer, we kind of try to bring them back to pass through some very good things happening there. One consequence is we want to be able to pass through the three commands on on NVMe as one thing called a pen command. It's namely by right, and then you want to stick that in the the device we have enough space but we ended up having that information key completion key which now has proven to be useful for other commands like there and it's a since people are supporting nowadays we you know we have a IP core and the initial I can use as I mentioned the game has support for that you use not you know if you any issues with the same in the mailing list and with the So, coming back to everything, one of the use cases why we created the master interface. So, if you have a new idea like RTB, or if you have a new idea like, I don't know, the key value that we could say, key value that we did in the past, you, could, you can use this interface without having to make changes to the kernel. So, you can put this actually in production, you can buy it tested on the hopefully some cycle that we use and maintainers some time on what we've had to do. Today, for the V particularly, you know, this is deployed on a um, crash lib and Meta has been very open about, uh, about this. Uh, and now we are in the process of when we believe that the technology is fully mature. I think we're using a vendor to do the next use of it. It's not one vendor or other. So now we're going to bring it to the um, player. And we have some green stuff. Uh, we tried to approach this. I'm going to get a little bit specific here. So if anybody's interested, I want to do it. But it's green right now. We can answer, you know, we've been having a conversation this morning. So 
we are a way to classy on 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 something like that we had for some time that's how it was implemented like a year ago or something it was also for you so it was just kind of in and then you know you um both for from the block here around two years ago, we still have the right hands and the system can do them, but they were not uh, mapped or have to now. But the good job in the context of this is of bringing the things back and on them on why we them. So the new effect has body perspective. So the first uh, attempt that we have that is very simple is half in the kernel. It's kind of a lie because the limit protocol does not think of temperature. You know, it takes it from at least a point in cold, it's going to be warm, and then actually it's to make it for the system. Don't do that. It's okay. And in the NBB, map the five hints and then, you know, copy it. So people don't like that because uh, it's, um, it's not a generic and that's true. It's not generic. So on version four, actually, I modified the slides for the map From version four, we are changing the process and instead of reducing the temperature things, we're using the same I know, but we are overloading. Either you can compress the things, or you can use the 128 to 128 And that's, uh, and that's uh, you know, that's the way to go forward. It removes the um, semantics of it, which I think is probably it goes out of the individual and we start uh, making with different things to make it with, which, you know, it's a very good thing because, we, you know, we don't know what we're going to go into the future. You know, it's really sad. Right now, uh, I think everybody can let like, do tens of things, but what happens is that we thousands of things, and suddenly, you know, Christian will paint more space, like another slide on the I know that I just don't uh, know how much time removing one. So, but, you know, that, uh, that's very expensive. So, so we, we need to think about that. Um, we do hope to get it merged. Uh, I think so, it's not. It's 15. Uh, so, the new version, so if you're interested in FTP, uh, you know, uh, you know consequences, uh, please go on uh, and review the process. Um, it's 28 minutes, and that's all I have. So basically, you know, I think data placement is still is installed, but I think we're converting. I think uh, you know, I look forward to conversation this this afternoon on how we can reduce have that as it's working on the own devices to do um, whatever comes next, you know, extensions, how can we run need to put another version on that and another thing. Providing um, the solution is key, and for that, it's a lot of fun work for, for vendors, you know, we tend to make the mistake to do it because it's a problem. And however, then things are magically work and people don't like them, and that's not true, so we need to think about what the consequences are. So, we need to consider so, so you know that people think about that. But I think you know we we can live with two different models. Uh, the the different use cases and hopefully one day they convert and then we can all do one so that's all I have. You have any questions? Uh, 
Are, are at the end of the day, um, the thing that they afford in everything is the process. When you are, when you think it's absolutely correct. So, for the people who communicate with the application, is, if you have a different instinct, you're talking about the IMO or your application is using uh, the same specifically, it doesn't work in a different sense. Men do the things that we learn together. Hot code data is something that people like because it's easy to understand. But for example, we have Google, for instance, in a big small. So you have big objects, and then you put them together, and then the small objects you put them together. But also, but like, yeah, but right. The, the value in the inode kind of the meaning of the value kind of changes depending on whether you use that's value or anything. That's correct. It has different meaning at that point. That is and you know, we talked a lot about this. So how much we spend, you know, because what your point is completely valid. So we spend time in, in communicating to business folks. The majority of the model today is in the no tech. You can take a device that does not support a cost device, not to compare and then you can populate that if you want to. The file will not fail, but it will just be ignored. Really that no, but at least at this moment in time, we have customers that are using all the platforms for this, and that's all for this tool for everybody. We do a stream, and then from there, have a conversation on what should we do to make this better. Goes to a mess for us, guys. Yeah, so I don't know whether any device is going to be Yeah, because some temporary things, for example, you said this is one uh, an example that. For that, but we don't want to mix them with this. It's going to be a uh, high screen. So, I is really what we have to call you can have per IO hint. And actually, for that, you really need to have the file system. You can send it in. But we keep this, we keep it two separate files. So, try not to mix two different things. So, yeah. Okay, very good point. So, I'm going to emphasize that for many cases, I think sending it per file is fine. Yeah. In other cases, for example, I think about virtualization, we have one big one. Under, actually, you know, I don't want to speak too much, but a lot of the use cases when people they don't care about the file system. It's, it's all about the company. So, 100%. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, but, Arguments in the beginning. I think Martin was talking about it. I have thousands of files on, on my machine. I don't have thousands of streams. I don't think that's true. I mean, everybody has been an SSD. But, but if you think more of 
you know, the, these two are the same example of the small ones. So you have like X number of functions typically you have like in the small terms. And then you can, uh, you know, you can put like on an LP range of all day. And then you have like a very good man's solution solution uh, an attack for those file devices. That was surprisingly good. And the other is close to small from the world. You can automatically attack that. I want to say something, you know. So it's just uh, to be clear to you. You think that in this case, then my uh, recommendation is to be can use 100%. Some feedback when we were in the NBME, we can follow the system of comparison. It's like, that's, that's horrible. Because people can do, think of other things, and then when actually people that are looking deep on your fitness are the level of comparison because they're doing something else. And that's horrible. You know, you have like the standard, and then you have the meaning you want to. If you transmit the semantics and the idea of the first device, of course, but I think mean, we need to be very much into the future. We don't do Find things of what part and what part before we can do it because we can say it's the hot stuff I can put on a system memory. To be that, yeah, that's a real project, uh, not a not product problem for now. Okay, we have a question there. So the, the point is right now, it, it's always what we implement an upstream today, but it's what ideas we are going to take we need for tomorrow. So the thing that lies to, in, the, in the small sense of things is enough, but if you think of a storage box, let's say that I do like this, and then I do a chance of a specific result and hint, I might end up with a virtual block device that has hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, Hints, and I want to support that. But it's true, but I think the the use cases are not there. If we get there, we would have an argument to come to, you know, find some faults and argue for the finals, but today I don't think we have the argument. What is that point? Like, what prevents you from the experimental You can do yeah. But I think the way, this is plan B. It's not a and the Cambin approach has been, you know, we already have all the work on it, and it's uh, so well done for the right things. Why add more plan being unnecessary? It's really good to use that. You know, somebody has a problem with that. I think as long as we can change the interface, we can already do stuff on the kernel and then, you know, move it from one place to another. That will not be an issue. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>